Hi, Small Arms Combatives. Today we're going to be talking about gunsmiths. Uh, this is a very good video. You need to listen up to this kind of stuff. Uh, basically, there are two types of gunsmiths, okay? Uh, one type of gunsmith, um, it's, um, you know, they kind of do this on the side. They might do it in their backyard, you know, behind their house, or they got a little shop somewhere uh, where you can come in and... Um, and they do stuff like, um, you know, install sights or something. So, you know, typically uh, pistols that come from the factory, they have regular factory sights. And let's say you want to go get some night sights installed. Um, yes, those sights actually do have to be fitted sometimes. Um, some of the times they need to have the sights filed just right and stuff like that and, and then loctited. So... Uh, those are some things, um, and, and, you know, night sights can cost from $80, $100, up to $150, maybe more. Um, so, uh, you know, sometimes if, if you, you know, you don't know what you're doing, you might want to get a gunsmith to go do that. Uh, those uh, types of gunsmiths also specialize in working on 1911 pistols, um, because that's, that's typically what... the what they typically went to school to learn about, um, you know, how to fix 1911s and, um, basically just do trigger jobs on them. So they can, they can dump the, the guts out of the, out of the, um, uh, out of that 1911 pistol, like the trigger group and the hammer, uh, sear, sear spring, stuff like that. They can, they can take those things out and then, uh, and then fit you, you know, whatever the kind of stuff you want in it. Um, uh, so they can lighten up the trigger job and, you know, slick it up and, and stuff like that. So those, those are the kind of gunsmiths, uh, they are. Now, the other type of gunsmith are the ones that actually build guns. Okay. And, and this is their job. It's actually a legit business. Um, and usually they, they have, you know, their company name followed by armament. Okay which means that they, they build the gun from the ground up, okay? They, they turn the barrels, they, they, um, they uh, bore the chambers, um, you know, they, they cut the barrels, they have a, a, a lathe, um, you know, they're, they're, they're screwing the, um, the barrels on to the receivers and the actions, uh, they're head spacing things properly, so now to me that's a gunsmith okay they, they really know what they're doing uh and they um they they are building guns okay as as a business okay and usually they have uh the name of their business on the side of that weapon that they're that they're building so there's there's two types of gunsmiths one is basically the the guy that just you know, can file here and there and put some sights on, do trigger jobs, slick that up. They're kind of a hobbyist. And then you got the, the ones that actually build guns, okay, um, from the ground up. I mean, mill the frames, everything from that factory. They have CNC equipment, uh, lathes, you know, all the, all the stuff that it that it takes to, to build guns from the ground up. And then uh, we have the, the do-it-yourself uh, people, okay? So... Uh, this is the part that you need to listen to. Uh, the majority of guns that come to our class that, that have the most problems, I mean the most problems, are the ones that, um, that someone went and they bought a factory gun and then they try to install their own trigger or, you know, they do their own trigger job or something like that and end up messing it up with a Dremel tool and a file or, or you know, stuff like that. Um, so... Uh, you are not a gunsmith. If you don't know what you're doing, then you need to put the file down and stop filing away stuff. Okay. Um, so let's, um, uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, people that might say, uh, well, you know, my stuff works fine. Okay. Well, you know, that that's great. But when things break and you file off parts off the frame or the slide or the barrel, um, and, and, and then it is broke, broke. You don't, you don't, you have voided your warranty on that pistol. Okay. Uh, cause factory, uh, pistols have something called warranties. Okay. You voided that warranty that they will, they will not fix it if it's broke, broke because of something that you filed on or did, 
or altered that pistol, okay? And um, the next thing that we're going to be talking about is AR-15s. Um, everyone knows that you can purchase the lower as the legal rifle, that's the part with the serial number on it. And uh, then you can order all the parts like the barrel and the bolt carrier group and uh, an upper receiver and, and all that stuff. And, and you can drop the trigger components in, um, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, once again, when you buy a complete rifle from the factory, you get something that's called a warranty. Uh, so if you have something that is broke, uh, the, the business uh, uh, that you bought that rifle from, uh, well, you know, like the, the actual manufacturer, um, they can fix that. Okay, they can fix that. And uh, so let's, so I would prefer that you, um, you, you go and buy a complete rifle from a reputable uh, company, uh, and that way you know that it works, okay? Um, if, um, if you think that you're gonna start screwing together these parts, like you put the AR-15 barrel on the receiver and you screw it shut and all that kind of stuff, like those bolts still have to be head spaced to that barrel, okay? So if anything, if you're gonna build anything at all, um, I guess build the lower receiver, um, the, the upper, uh, you do have to have a few special tools to, to kind of build that, um, on your own. And I, I don't really suggest that you do that unless you have those, those special tools. So I wouldn't even, I, I mean, honestly, it, you're not really saving any money. Just, just get, just, you know, I know some of you want to do it yourself on your own and stuff like that, but like you got, you got to stop doing that. Um. You know, every time we have someone come out to the class uh, with uh, either a pistol or rifle that, that they built themselves, especially uh, like they, they get the, you know, the those Glock parts kits and they, they start putting like a Glock pistol together uh, themselves. Uh, we hadn't really had a whole lot of success with those. They, they don't, they're, they're not like the, the one that, that comes from the factory. Okay, so they either jam up or they break, um, a pin falls out, uh, you get light strikes with them, um, so you squeeze the trigger and it goes click instead of bang, um, you know, just all, all kinds of different stuff, all kinds of different stuff. Gas blocks fall off, uh, you know, they come loose because um, they're not properly fitted and pinned, okay, they have to be pinned, not just tighten those screws up, they, they need to be pinned in there. Um, the, uh, the stocks on AR-15s, um, if it's on an adjustable stock, that, that, the, the thread and everything that, that has to be pinned so it won't, um, it won't come loose. There's all kinds of different things that, um, that, that could go wrong, okay? And if your life is betting on it, um, that, that you're staking your life on, then that, firearm has to work it has to work okay and that means getting the the pistol or that rifle hot okay know what its limits are okay so i hope that that was helpful and I, I don't mean to hurt anyone's feelings or anything uh and you know especially you gunsmiths out there but but you know what you can and can't do um but but for the main thing uh for you everyday people if you're not a gunsmith, in other words, you don't have a certificate somewhere that says you are a gunsmith and you've never taken a class um, on gunsmithing, okay, um, don't do it, okay? I'm telling you, you'll mess up that gun. Uh, so I hope you found everything here helpful. If you want to train with us, uh, Small Arms Combatives, where you can find us, over and out.